In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a uh, super cool graph for the Rocket Lab that's going to have error bars and everything on it. I'm assuming you've already figured out your calculations. You've got the initial velocity. I just made these numbers up. I have no idea whether they're accurate. And you've calculated the uncertainty. I think it's reasonable to have a couple digits for the uncertainty. And I think the best graph for this is just a regular column graph. So I'm just going to select the data, super high, medium, low, the categories, and then the values, right? And I'm going to insert a column graph. And I think I want that column graph right there, okay? Now, um, I'm going to move this graph so that it's a new sheet, right? And I could call this velocity. There we go. Okay. And um, the first thing you want to do is, of course, uh, click on layout and give it a chart title, right? And uh, then the vertical axis, we need to title that, right? Um, definitely a rotated tile. And then I think I'm even going to do uh, uh, axis. I'm going to do the horizontal axis here, right? So this is uh, uh, chart title is uh, control A. It would be uh, launch velocity versus versus thrust washer size or whatever you want to call it, right? Okay. And then control A here. This is uh, launch velocity in parentheses meters per second right and then this is uh, washer size thrust washer size okay uh, that's a worthless legend there so we're gonna get rid of that delete okay and now what would make this even cooler is if I could go in and actually put um, error bars on this thing right um, error bars are things here. Let's rename this sheet here. Let's call this uh, data or calc uh, velocities. Uh, no, we'll call it calculations, right? Okay, so what I want to do is I want to actually add error bars on there. So I'm going to click on this thing. And I think it's layout. Yeah, there we go. So click on that thing, go layout, and then click error bars. And we want to do more error bar options. Okay, and now we got like, okay, we want you want both error bars. And then you want to do custom. Right, and then we're going to specify a value. Okay, now this you could, I guess, you could make a different up and down. We're just assuming that it's the same up and down. You click this guy, right, and now it's waiting for me to select where the uncertainties are, and they are. Oh no, uh, okay, I got to scroll my sheet here. Uh, scroll over. There we go. They are right here. It's better if uh, it's sort of clumsy, but there it is, right. And then you click this again. Right, and then you click this guy, right, and it goes back to here, and then we got to go back to the calculations page, and then you select these again, and then you click this again, right, and then you're uh, okay, okay, and then close, and there are our error bars, okay, that should be plus or minus about, what did we say, I just typed in randomly that it was 2.1, right, and it looks to be plus or minus 2.1, those are what error bars look like. You don't normally see those on a bar graph, but you could put them on a bar graph. Isn't that spiffy? I think it's spiffy. 